Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to customize your Ubuntu desktop and for the past few days I have been reviewing Linux distributions so you can check them out from the video list of my channel. So I found a new theme, I've copied the URL, you can just open Firefox, enter the URL and get the theme. All the links are provided in the description below. It is Lavanda GTK theme, just click on download get the dark version, download and done. Just open it in a folder, open the zip file and get and go to the home directory, create a new folder named dot themes. Now if you don't have the folder, you have to create one. If you have one, you won't have to. Now in order to show the dot folders, which are basically the hidden one, you have to press control plus H. That will show up all the hidden folders. Now just extract this inside dot themes done now we need gnome tweaks so sudo apt install gnome tweaks enter wait for the installation to continue and then it completes now apply the theme is very simple you have to open gnome tweaks and apply the theme but before that i have some other uh, themes also that we need to apply for example the icon themes and more so let us get the icon themes now i also have this copied here so it is a flat icons orange yellow. I'm going to use this one. So click on download and let's get the icons. Wait for the download to complete. And there it is done. Here also we need to do the same thing. Just extract all the files. Go to home. Create a new folder named dot icons. If you don't have one. And drag and drop the file here. And extract orange yellow inside dot icons. That's it. Done. Next let us try and get some wallpapers. For wallpapers, I prefer to use pixels. So let us hop into pixels and get something based on, based on purple or like violet. Let's go for purple. Let us apply this. Right click, set as wallpaper. So this is how it will look like. Next, I have some conkey options. So I'm going to use this very simple conkey theme that I have. Download. Download the zip file. Now for installation, we need to see this here. So open the link for applying the theme. Now the installation requirements are given here. So let's install whatever is required. So sudo apt install we need conkey obviously. Lua, I guess Lua 5.4. JQ curl. Oops. Let's try just Lua. Okay, so I was right. Lua 5.4. That's it. Done. Now open your file manager and head over to home. Create a folder and inside config dot config and name it as conkey. Now we need to extract this zip file inside the conkey folder of dot config. Done. So let's see if it works. Dot slash start dot sh well it works fine but there is a black thing that is appearing in the background for that we need to make a small change inside the configuration file just set this as true and save it done looks good now let us apply the rest of the theme open tweaks which we installed earlier appearance lavender dark icons orange yellow we also need to get a shell theme well the icons i guess they don't look really good with this so it's better to get something else you can always rely on Cora icons so you can just search for Cora icons Cora icons always look good with a gradient type theme click on download and let's get the original version okay while it downloads okay it's done head over to home slash dot icons and extract all of these inside the dot icons directory that's all done now reopen tweaks if you have it open already head over to appearance and change the icons to Cora. looks better now i guess we also need some fonts that are required for running the conkey so for checking that let's open the config file of conkey it will contain all the information required head to dot config conkey and here we go the font name is comforta and nasalization Let us also the Comforter font, download family. Now we just need to install these fonts. Install, done. Also install the nasalization, done. Now we just need to reopen or restart the con key. It is very simple. Okay, run this command again and it will work fine. Now it's time to change the shell theme. But before that, 
let us change the location of this dock. Head over to settings, I mean the panel. Go to appearance and turn off the panel mode. You can also reduce the icon size to your requirement. Now let us get GNOME shell extensions. Just open your browser and write this, you will get it. Click on the website. Now you need to install an extension on your browser in order to enable and disable certain features on no so click there if you're using if you're interested to use firefox make sure you have the apt version of the firefox installed and not the snap because snap has problems with extensions working with gnome that's all done now you just need to refresh this page okay if you encounter this problem open your terminal and install this package sudo apt install chrome gnome shell wait for the installation to complete and done. Refresh the page. The problem should be solved. Open user themes and enable that. This will enable you to change your shell theme. Okay. Open Nautilus. Okay. We don't need Nautilus. Uh, let's open tweaks. Head over to appearance. And now you can change the theme. Change it to lavender dark. This is how it looks like. Looks good. Now in order to help with the inconsistencies that are there. For example, the rounded corners in the top and the pointed corners at the bottom whereas rounded corners in all the four side with nautilus we need to get another extension uh, just search for rounded corners okay rounded window corners turn it on install and this should change now let us search for another extension that is arc menu enable this okay okay now a fun fact with arc menu is that it replaces the activities menu but uh, you can edit this menu itself so if you right click and head over to change menu layout, just wait for a few seconds, you will get a variety of options appearing here. You have traditional, modern, touch, launcher and alternatives. So inside launcher, you will get the runner which is there. So let's try runner. If you click here, it will launch a search bar from where you can search for anything. Here is the settings window which again launches the settings of the runner itself. You can also enable show frequent applications which will show the applications that you frequently use. And for the menu button, you can change the icon itself. Choose a new icon from browse and there are a number of icons available here. You can choose a distro icon. For example, here we have Ubuntu, you can choose that or you can also get a custom icon for yourself. Now, as you can see that the GTK4 theme is not applied properly so if you head over to dot themes you will get a gdk4 directory just copy all the folders that are here get back to home slash dot config slash gdk4 and replace everything that is here with the contents that you copied that's all now if you want to see the changes in gdk4 window just open a gdk4 application i guess do we have console Okay, okay, let's get a GNOME console to help us with this. Open terminal, sudo apt install GNOME console. Now let's open console. As you can see, the theme is applied. So if you head over to about console, you will also find that the theme is applied here also. We can select a wallpaper that looks a little bit less clumsy than this. So you can head over back to pixels. You can go for a purple gradient wallpapers. Let us try this. Right click, set as wallpaper. Looks a lot cleaner. Now, if you open the settings application again, you can make some more changes with auto hide dock, which will hide the dock automatically when any window overlaps it. You can do that. And you can change the dock behavior. Turn this off, turn off trash to make it look a little more clean. Now, finally, it's time to remove all these icons. Now, you can get rid of this one, which you won't be having. But for the other icons, you can go for desktop icon settings and oops turn this off and that's all this is how it would look like so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one